Hello beautiful bipeds, here is Luis Salton and today I want to talk about 8 things that beginners can struggle with Zook. I'm speaking by the perspective of a leader, but a lot of things can also be applied to the path of the follower too. First is, I don't know enough steps and I always repeating the same steps. Yeah, in the beginning is like this, you will not have a huge vocabulary, so you see yourself going to the same steps in the same, in the, in the same song. But the key is, you have to enjoy even if you know how to do only one step. I used to work uh, doing taxi dancing when I was like 15, 16 years old. So I used to go to socials where it was a lot of old people and old couple dancing and most of them, they didn't know a lot of steps. They only know how to do like two steps to one side, two steps to the other side, some turns and some little plays, and they do that like all night long because they understood that the things have the value that we give to them, right? So if you make the, the few steps that you have be so important to you and you give a lot of value to it, those steps, they will become ceremonial, you know? So every time that you do them, you feel that energy, you, you be connected to the culture of the dance, Zook. That's why it's very good to support and give foundation to your dance with good fundaments and good concepts behind it. And from those concepts, the applications come up, you know? Right, so understanding this, you also can think, yeah, but I'm tired from my steps. One thing is you are learning because you want more so you like want to have more options and the other is you are learning because you don't feel that you're enough yet you know so if you're learning because you don't feel that you're enough and not because you want to explore more you will never get there you never feel as a good dancer you know so you have to feel as a good dancer since today since now because that's how it works and then you start to feel good and then you start to believe in yourself and then your dance will evolve more and more and yeah if you're tired of your steps and you want to know more you want to explore more taking classes will help you a lot it will increase your your learning process practicing will help a lot too practicing by yourself and with other people going to socials watching people dance in life talking with your friends about dance like trying to express what you felt and also trying to verbalize uh, the sensations that you felt during the dance, you know, the ideas, those kind of things. Speaking about what you like in other people dance and what you like in certain followers, verbalizing and reflecting about it will give you more perspective and your dance is going to grow as a consequence of it. Okay, something more that you can feel is like, oh, my dance is always the same, has always the same flavor. So in this case, I don't recommend you to learn new steps. I recommend you to dig into the steps that you already have and learn variations inside those movements. So you learn how to break down the movements that you already have, you know, how to stop in the middle of the movement and then maybe play with your chest or do something else, how to change the dynamics of the movements that you already do change the size, change the planes. So now you don't feel that you are, even if you have, for example, five steps, but you have a lot of variations inside those steps. Every time that you enter in one idea, for example, lateral, you do with one texture, you do with one flavor, or you change this step a little by what you are feeling in relation to the song or in relation to the vibe around you or in relation to the person that is dancing with you, you know? So you don't feel that you are doing always the same thing anymore. Okay, something that you also can feel is like, I feel that my leading is not clear. So I have an idea in my mind and then when I try to lead, the follower doesn't move in the way that I was trying them to move. So for this, you have to have a better connection. So first, you have to dig into the motion and try to understand what are the fundamentals of that movement. So for example, which kind of movements you are trying to lead in that body? Is there rotation, is there torsion, is there change of inclination, is there displacement? You are trying to keep the balance of, of this body. And then understanding those things, you, uh, you have to 
try to understand how to apply the forces that result on it. Also understanding about how frameworks will help you a lot because we have some deals to break the frame and also to, to have the frame back. And something that I like to think to have a very clear leading, even more when I'm dancing with a beginners, is imagine that I'm a tree and the follower is a bird. So I'm a tree, I'm solid and I offer support. When the bird comes, it lands, the bird has to also hold itself in, in me. So as a tree, I don't grab the bird, I just offer the support for the, for the bird to, to be connected with me. And then when the wind blows, the bird uses me as, as a support, you know? So if this is happening, the follower will feel that they are holding on something that they can use for balance, you know? So this gives the sensation of hope. So if I have this to structure myself, I can relax a lot. I know, I know, those tips are saving you lots of hours with practice, right? Yeah. Glad you're enjoying. <laughs> so something that you also can feel is like, I don't know where to touch to lead uh, different movements. So something that you can think about is every time that you hold parts where you have bones to hold, it's easier. And when you go to the edges of your body, there are articulations. So places where the motion that you are trying to send to the center can be lost. That's why we created the deal of frame. So for example, if I'm dancing with a beginner and I want to lead a chest movement, if I try to lead by the hand, it will be harder because there are the, the follower will have to have all this connected. Then if I touch the part that I want to lead and then I move this part. So this person doesn't have to have a connection through the articulations because I'm touching the part that I want to lead, you know? And I also use this in time. So for example, if I'm doing a carousel motion and I want the follower to keep going, but for some reason, they stop the leg and they don't want to go with the leg. I just touch their legs and suggest them to keep moving. Like, hey, you can go here, you know? Next one, I feel insecure to lead taller followers or to lead short followers. Mostly in the beginning, people feel insecure with tall followers. I felt like this because I started training with Vladi too and she's smaller. So I used to train here. So when I had to dance and lead like here in my level, I was like, ah. First, if your follower is taller, you can explore things where you pass under or where you pass under the arm because now you have a bigger window to, to pass under. And you also can lead movements by the rib cage and also like do turns by the, the, rib, the waist. This kind of ideas, not going to the taller level and also if the followers is tall don't be lazy to lift your arm you know because the worst thing for taller for taller people when they're dancing with short people is this short person goes to turn the taller person but doesn't raise the hand so I have to you know so raise your hand that I can turn comfortably something that I felt as a beginner too was I didn't know how to connect my moves I had to come back to basic back and forward and then do something and then basic back and forward and then simple turn and then basic back and forward. Always connecting with basic back and forward. So what you have to do is first understand where you step your left and where you step your right. So you already start to connect. Oh, okay, every time that I do the simple turn, I'm stepping my right leg. Every time that I go backward in the basic back and forward, I'm stepping with my left backward. Every time that I do bonus like this, if I do bonus to one side, I have to turn. If I do bonus to the other side, I have to go to lateral. So you start to internalize those things and your body starts to already already understand and feel and already know with which leg you are going to get out in the future. So it gets automatic, it's super cool. In the beginning you have to think like, oh shit, now it's simple turn or I come back, or I come back to lateral. Oh, this this leg, so it's simple turn. And then the, the music already went and you lost the time. <laughs> But after, after you uh, internalize in all those motions, you start to connect the things and try to connect the simple ones first. So basic back and forward to lateral and lateral to basic back and forward. Basic back and forward to simple turn, simple turn to basic back and forward. Lateral to simple turn. So now you have this triangle and you can 
go through these motions and then you just start to add new motions and train how to enter and how to exit from it differently. And also, uh, you have to develop your capacity of seeing things with a more panoramic vision. Because if you learn just one entry to the step and then just the motion and then just the exit, you got the shape, but you didn't get the concept to flow free, enter for different paths, get out for different paths, you know? So you will not feel as free as the dancer that already got this fluency. This is something that comes with practice. So enjoy the level that you are right now because if, as I said, if you only know one step, you already can enjoy dancing. You can enjoy dancing just do this. But also, as more you learn, more sensations and more you connect with the dance, with yourself, with other people. And the Zook scene is a beautiful scene, so the dance, the values that we learn through dance, we try to also keep in the community. So we already select people that want to have good moments with other people, good connections, people that want to have moments of attention and care, right? People that like touch, like hugs. <laughs> we go to places, we put songs, and then we stay hugging each other and moving our spine and then moving our heads around. <laughs> we are the new hippies, bro. Nice. If you like this kind of content, please share with your friends, send to your beginner friends, say, hey, check out those tips. Stop suffering, enjoy your journey. <laughs> Carpe diem. And also, if you already felt one of those sensations, write in the comments which one you felt for me to know which one is the most common around you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to improve your zook and don't feel this kind of sensations, right? And I see you soon. I see you soon.